Getting started with the Email Validation API. Welcome, everyone. This is Brian with Zero Bounce, and I'm going to talk to you about our API section on our dashboard. Um, for developers, this is your spot. This is your hub. So when you go to the API section, you're always going to get presented with a master key. This is a key that uh, you have to always have at least one API key uh, working on your account. We call it the master key. You're able to, at any time, regenerate that key. Perhaps it was exposed. Perhaps you had a system running and you want to make sure it's not. You can regenerate that key and it will go ahead and uh, go ahead and, and, and produce a new one. You can also create new API keys. And I can go ahead and name it. So we'll just call it my demo test. I'll create a new key here. And now I have access to a second key. Now, the keys are needed when you go through the different API endpoints that we have. And I'm going to talk a little bit about each one of them here. We have a real-time single email validator, and this is a um, this is an API endpoint that is really used and and amazing. If you would like to hook it up to any signup forms, or you're just looking for very quick, speedy results one by one, um, this is something that is intended for speed and accuracy. There's only one caveat which it with it, which is that we're not able to do gray list detection on it because of the amount of time that we have to wait, which is between 15 and 20 minutes in order to provide a successful validation. So if you do get an a unknown gray listed status as a result back from this, um, that would be why and you'll wanna send those through the bulk validation. But for the most part, most people will have no issues with this. Um, you know, Really everyone can use it. You might have a small use case where the unknowns pop up, but you'll go ahead and push that through and we can go and validate it again in the background using bulk. We also have a batch validator, which is very similar to this real-time validator, but we're allowing you to add 100 emails into this into a, a single call. Um, we really developed this this um, endpoint where there's third-party systems involved that generally don't like you to absolutely blow through their your APIs and make these outside calls. Uh, so we, when we were doing integrations for our own tool in, our, in different platforms, we saw this limitation, and decided to build our own batch validation uh, endpoint. And so what it's doing is it allowing you to, to validate more with less API calls. And so it is really the same thing here, but it's batching it all together. Now this could take uh, a little bit longer because obviously we're processing more emails at a time. So I would not recommend this for a real time use case, but it is very good if you still want very quick results. The bulk email validator this is really where you're going to send a CSV, TXT, or Excel files through the um, through our endpoint. And what we'll go ahead and do is we'll pick up that file. We will start to process that file. And on the endpoint, you can go ahead and actually, I'll even show you. You can go ahead and click and submit a return URL that what we're going to do is when it's completed, we're going to send a webhook back to you and let you know that that file is completed and go ahead and pick it up for retrieval. So what this, enables is, what this allows you to do is completely automate the file uh, process, both sending and receiving from us. And it's something that a lot of our customers are using and it's, it's a set it and forget it once you have that up. So what you would do is package everything up, the different endpoints that we have here, you would package everything up you would send us the file. If you would like, you can check the file status, but if you sent a webhook uh, URL, then that would not be required. But if you'd like to check the status, you could. You can retrieve your file and get it. And then if you would like, you can delete the file as well through the API, or we will send, we will delete the file automatically within 30 days. So it's a really uh, 360 degree ability to use our platform with large files, large data sets. There is no limit to the size of file that you can provide to us. Um, and generally for time's sake, it's about 30 to 45 minutes for 100,000 emails to be processed on our platform. We also have Zapier that you're welcome to use, which has uh, quite a few different applications that were built into it uh, and allows you to create workflows that otherwise might be more difficult, especially if you're not, if you don't have a development background. So some examples of this might be automatically validate an email address in my CRM system when I enter a new one and then post that status back into the platform as a custom field saying zero bound status. And then you can go ahead and make your decisions on what you want to do and filter your data and whatnot. Another good example of this might be when I add a new row to my Google sheet with an email address, 
pick up that email address, send it to Zero Bounce for validation, and then post that result back on the same spreadsheet. Uh, this is again, really good use cases for Zapier and there's hundreds and thousands of more use cases, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of how you could use a tool like that. We also have a activity data API, and this is for the, uh, the different activity data, which I mentioned is, is, is at the end of the file process when you use our platform. But in reality, we have a, a endpoint for it by itself. You're able, this is lightning fast, by the way, super quick. You can send one email, we're gonna give you a quick result back. If we have a result that we can give you, we'll go ahead and provide the result back and we'll charge a deducted credit. If we did not find anything, we have no data on that email address, we do not charge you for that call. And basically we don't give you anything back. Uh, we just say not found. You can also do bulk scoring, which was for catch-alls. The process is exactly the same as bulk email validation. So you would package the file, you would send the file to us, you can put the hook on the, the return URL so we can send a webhook once it's completed, and then you'll download the data back into your platform, and then you can delete it if you wish through the API, or again, after 30 days, we'll go ahead and delete it ourselves. We also have an SDK that you can use, and this has a lot of the popular programming language, Java, uh, .NET, we have Python, we have other different tools that are an SDK that you're able to use. Um, Postman, we also have a Postman collection that you're able to use for people who like to test the API through Postman. We have a sandbox environment which allows you to, to query specific email addresses to get all of the use cases. So you can see what the, the results will look like. And then we also have a status page that allows you to uh, see the uptime or subscribe to any alerts if anything happens or scheduled maintenance which I always recommend our developers and anyone who's using our API to sign up for, as it will keep you in the loop as to what's going on. You can also check your API usage. And so, um, you know, based on the key that you have, you can select a date and go ahead and see the usage that you might have. Now this isn't a heavily used account, but you would be able to see this. You can look at it monthly, daily, you can look at it by status codes, or if you just wanna see specific uh, types of emails, you can see it that way and you know you can filter as you wish. You can download that data as well if you would like. Lastly here, we have the API callback status. So for anyone that's using our webhooks uh, and you have an issue here, you would be able to go ahead and see that here and be able to troubleshoot a little bit better as to what might have happened. Uh, here, I just don't have any of the setup, but this is again, this is a developer friendly section here. Our company was built by developers, uh, owners are developers, and so we're just really appreciative towards the development crowd and provide the tools that you need in order to self-troubleshoot. If you have any questions about this, you're welcome to contact our support team. It's 24-7, 365, and we are able to help you with uh, any API information, as well as you know, point you in the right direction if you need any help.